Hello! Welcome back to another episode of Wazzy Watches. I'm, I don't think I can hatch it anymore. And today, we're going to be watching Hatchet 3. Which is the third part of the original Hatchet trilogy. Before, obviously, Victor Crowley was created. Um, obviously, by this point of this movie... Even going into all of these, you knew what to expect. It was just point blank gore. That that was it. Brutality and gore. So they definitely upped that for the second one. And I'm expecting the exact same for this. More gore. More blood. More brutality. That, what else can you expect from this kind of series? That's like going into Hostel. And then the, a new Hostel movie and being like... I feel like there's just too much gore in there, and they probably shouldn't have put as much in. Maybe give us a bit of a story. Uh, that's not what these films are about, and obviously, they know that. <laughs> They're not like hiring Liam Neeson or someone to come and play in Hatchet. <laughs> but no, so yeah, Hatchet Free today. We will. Well, just <laughs> get into it. <laughs> Oh, so we are literally hit straight after the last one. Never turn your back on him. Never turn your back on him. Oh, no, he's still there. Okay. Oh, he sat up. He sat up. Are oh, they going to kill her off right at the start of this? Why would you fire anyway? You weren't aiming at anything. I don't think you could pick that up, love. Oh! Oh! Wow. Honestly, thought she might have been killed off right at the start then. Oh. Oh. Is that like his head or what was left of it? Like, who's, you're just gonna have this, like, flesh in your hand, and they're gonna be like, what the hell is that? And you're like, this is Victor Crowley. And they're like, no, it's not. It's a lump of flesh. You're under arrest. <laughs> just get the neighbor to quiet down. Look, we got every major drunk from Mardi Gras down here. There's no room. Oh, this is literally taking place over a few days. Oh, has got a gun! Oh, the... They're all dead. Who's dead? Honey, I'm swamp. Do it, why? Oh. I killed him. It, it, oh. Well, like I said, you're under arrest. There is no answer at the Dunstan House. Try again. I have. Five times. Who are the Dunstans? Well, then get in your car and drive over there, Deputy Elbert. Yes. <laughs> Deputy Elbert. <laughs> we know who Victor Crowley is. And we also know what reality is. You have his scalp. Do some DNA testing on it. Victor Crowley of killing your father and your... Not suspected. Brother. He did do it. So you jumped in a swamp tour boat. Boat. What is with his pronunciation? <laughs> boat. I'm telling you the truth. I don't think you realize the kind of deep shit you're in, little girl. The guy with the marijuana thing. Is he going to have been one of the friends of the two guys that were in the first film that got killed? The one that got his uh, arm ripped off. 
and the one that got both his arms ripped off and then beaten. We already come up with about four bodies. I mean, they... Jesus, they don't even have faces, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I probably feel the same. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's Tony Todd's character, wasn't it? That Tony Todd got, yeah. Here. Should we keep on pieces everywhere? I said I am on my way, deputy. Tell everybody I'm on my way. I'll call you if I need you. Get the fire and paramedics out there right away. I'm on it. Fuck off. This is Deputy Winslow, honey. <laughs> Multiple bodies, Honey Allen Swamp. Girl in custody. That is police business, okay? It's not what you think it is. Oh, this has Victor Crowley written all over it. Oh my god, I believe her. Obsessive sensationalism. Now you just listen here. I am wounded. I would like to have access. So this is someone that actually believes in Crowley, and this other girl is saying that Crowley has done this. Why don't you let them talk? Because clearly there is more to that. I heard unidentified bodies in pieces, Jesus, faces Christ, missing. Jesus Amanda, that is a police frequency. Stay off of it. I have First Amendment. Off of it. I love his pronunciation. His pronunciation of the, his T's at the end of sentences. I mean, I always have had an issue with the way that the paparazzi is played in movies as to be like that, but then they have to get the story because that's what they get paid to do. And everyone calls them vultures and stuff like that, but it's literally their job, I suppose. How's Adrienne? We broke up, 2005. So, where- Well, what year is this, technically? Because don't it take place over three days? Oh, so this film's just gonna have a load of police getting brutally murdered instead. Fucking maggots. Can yeah, you tell me? So what are we talking about here? Three bodies? What the f- <laughs> What the fuck happened? Well, that's all- He is in every one of these movies! Uh, alright guys, let's start gathering the bodies. Uh, Bob, Randy, back in- Oh my god, that's that guy from... Other things. You're ha it's, it's, so there's not you're not like brother brothers. Are you all like triplets? And does that mean you're gonna die also? Because it clearly is like a thing where your brothers don't die. You know what you are? You guys are the Carmines of this. Carmine, if you didn't know, is a Gears of War character. You, but they are the Carmines. And the Carmines die in all the games. Except for the third one. The Carmine didn't actually die in the third one, and we're in the third one. <gasps> one minute you're on national TV. Next minute, you're kind of. What the fuck do you want from me? Rude. I'm posting your bail, bitch. Raw. You know what they do with Po White Trash who were convicted on a capital charge? The Death state sentence. Of Louisiana will execute. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've never understood the death sentence. Like, I get people want justice and they want people to die for the thing, but to me, dying for the crimes is too easy a release. Tell me what happened. I know I can help you. And not be given the easy release of death. Fine. I'll wait. Not there, you won't. He's just told you to get out. Randy. So many bodies. Is that one Crowley? Because that looks like a big one. Guy looks like he had all kinds of muscle and skin deformities. And he was only wearing overalls. Get the fuck out. So, Victor Crowley. Alright, all I'm saying. So you might want to drop whatever you're doing and check this one over first. You're dead. Oh, oh. Uh, 
So I feel like you're going to die just like your brother and your other brother did, if they are your brothers. Surely that they can't just explain it away by having you look like them and you're not related. You look kind of like you, man. Oh, what? Because I'm Asian? We all look the same, right? <laughs> it's hilarious. They're not related. They're just using it as an offside joke. Like, we don't all look alike. <laughs> Wait! Okay. Alright. I don't know. The priest has said no amount of physical damage can keep him from returning again and again in his original form. He's dead. He was dead then. Oh, no. Well, he might not be, but every single person that swamp is. How the hell do you deal with that smell? <laughs> Takes a couple years, but you do get used to it. Another day on the job for me. Oh. I proper embraced it then. Your whistling leaves something to be desired. If that bag starts moving. Oh, it's inflating him back to how he was. Oh, how the hell did he get out of that? <clears throat> wow. He sounds like a bear. Is dead. Oh. Uh, no, he doesn't read. He doesn't watch TV. He doesn't do anything anymore. You heard what I heard on the radio. How many more people have to die before this is over? I can't. You can. You caught last time, but you went bloody back. <laughs> Open it. Oh. oh. Jesus. Yeah, just take your sweet time, mate. It's not that you can hear them dying currently on your fucking phone. Phone? Walkie talkie radio thing. Do we know if the attacker is still in the area? Well, we have to assume so, yeah. But, uh, guys, I want you all armed and at the red. Hey, there's Derek, Mays. You will give one verbal warning and then you will shoot the kill. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. One verbal warning, and then shoot to kill. I wouldn't even give a verbal warning. You look where you are. Planning on taking out a T-Rex tonight? Oh, shit. You do know where we are, right? I'd take out a T-Rex. If, if I'd keep a T-Rex as a pet. I'd love a pet T-Rex. Victor Crowley. I'm sorry. I'm new here. Just transferred from Arizona. Who's Victor Crowley? Girl, you don't know who Victor Crowley is? You're gonna die. That's such a fucking asshole. I'll tell you about it later. The NRA would be proud. There will not be a later. There will not be a later. You will be dead. See, I could not go into anywhere, no, even real fictitious or whatever. I couldn't go anywhere like that in the dark, me. I would freak the fuck out. Suspect. Well, she turned herself in this morning. She was covered in someone else's blood, holding a shotgun. More than someone else's blood. She was covered in, like, it was like a bath of blood. She's clearly part of it, though. I'm gonna go to that. Oh, is he a good guy? Like a nice guy? But then, I don't know. <sighs> She's don't know. making small talk, Sheriff. I really don't want to hear about your divorce. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, yeah, to be fair. Here, enough bodies pile up, and eventually you can't help but believe there's some truth to the ghost stories you hear around here. There's not some truth, there is all truth. I believe in ghosts too. It's where I saw one in my bedroom when I was six years old, but it just smiled at me and walked out. Yeah, this is not the same. <laughs> it's not the same situation. Oh. 
See, they're like walking single file like that. And guns are not able to keep him down. Nothing is able to keep him down because obviously he's cursed. So why do you even bother? Won't you just stay away? Oh, what the hell is that? We are in some serious shit here, Amanda. We have friends in that swamp that are seriously injured, if not dead. They're dead. No, they're dead. They're, 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 they are dead. And now you have me out here on some wild goose chase, chasing I don't know what, with a more morbid version of Wednesday Adams in our backseat. <laughs> I tried to have this conversation with your father two years ago, and he pulled a gun on me and told me to go fuck myself. Classy family. Go fuck yourself. Look. <laughs> well, well, yeah. Boy, you, you, you walked into that. No way one person did all this. Mm -mm, yep, no, 100% one person did all this. Are somebody's balls. Balls are not supposed to be hanging from trees, yet I'm finding myself looking at fucking balls, sir. <laughs> that guy knows what's up. <laughs> that guy knows what's up. Oh, of course, you'd be the one that survived. And you didn't fight back. No, I didn't fight back. I hid. And that's the only reason those aren't my balls hanging from that tree. <laughs> Cancel that request. Put your 20, Officer Hans. Do not. Oh, okay, now. There's always one. Your ego is putting all of us in danger. Fucking fire me. I don't care. I'm leaving. Ah, uh, you dead. I I'd have done it. Down. You, you calm down. Ah, uh, you what? You could have just that could have been a survivor. Who are you shooting at? You don't even know who you shoot at. That literally could be anything in that bush, and you've just all fired loads of rounds into it. You go check it out. Yeah, I'd say no too. You go check it out. You're the one who wanted to stay here. You're the one that didn't want to call the army. You go fucking die. What is that? Is that a raccoon? Was that right? Go. No, no. <laughs> Who was in on this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, don't stand too near the back and don't stand too near the front. You want to be right in the middle, away from either entrance to death. <laughs> Shoot the bloody wire that's holding her. Move your head. There you go. Oh yeah, there's that other guy. I forgot two went in there. Okay, a lot of you are out of bullets, so now if he does come out, what, you're just going to reload while he runs at you? Oh! He's not even bothered with the people battering him, he's literally just carrying on killing that guy on the floor. Nice. Oh! What was your plan there? 
Yeah, like honestly, what what was your plan there? Nice. Yeah. Is <laughs> it? Just he whipped out a rocket launcher. Oh, we'll do it before he gets his head put on that. This <laughs> you, that's... You killed Rick. Now that's how you take a bitch out. <laughs> no. Yeah, Ron, I like you as well, and you're definitely dead. Come on! Yeah, I liked him as well. I'm actually very upset that he's now dead. No, don't leave him. I want him to live. Oh, I liked him as well. Oh, there goes your house. That was very quick to disperse of so many people. Stay here. Where the fuck am I gonna go? Yeah, to be fair, she's handcuffed in the back of the car. She ain't going anywhere. Who are you? I'm Amanda Fowler. From the paper? Is that Sorry. Sid Haig? Ah, to shoot you dead for waking me up. It is! <laughs> Christ's sakes. It's 8.45. Well, that's what I said. Oh, R.I.P. Sid, R.I.P. Well, all I got's a minute. Got a lot of irons in the fire, you know. This is the second film I've watched on this uh, channel that's got Sid Haig in it. The first one was House of the Dead. Two. Forget it! Faggot! I ain't no faggot! <laughs> well, come on in! <laughs> wow! I have so much in one little meeting between two people. We got a mix of racism and homophobia. <laughs> you told me that these are Thomas Crowley's ashes, isn't that right? No, them's my uncle's ashes. That's right. These are your uncle's ashes. What the hell are you doing, you little harlot? Wow. I am a veteran. I went all the way to Korea. Fucking white people. <laughs> Run, boy. <laughs> Pow. Yeah, gotcha. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, man? Oh, no. What the fuck? You're gonna be fucking kidding me. Oh my god! Imagine him. Imagine that having a little cameo like that for him to kill off your character. And until you waltzed into the police station wearing Victor Crowley's innards, what proof did I have that he was real? Oh. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, you have to go, Mary Beth. Only no. you. Only you. You're the one. Only you. Where's your boat? What's wrong with this one? Where's the keys? What? Why? I work with a bunch of redneck racists. They don't let me drive anything. Huh. Oh, is he going to die in this one as well? Back in the ambulance. Move it! Is he going to die in this one as well? Does that work? Oh no, you stood too close to the window. Ah! Uh. We got SWAT team officers dead. We got deputies dead. We got yeah. fucking half the Louisiana police department is dead. Yeah, everyone's dead. Crazy coming. They're heavily armed and they're firing everything they got. We need military assistance. You gotta send some kind of chopper or something to airlift us the fuck out of here. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you just said Victor Crowley, I feel like they'd have been like, meh. Okay, 
pinned down and the ambulance taking heavy fire. We're on our way. Hold tight. Straight through the wall for you. Unfortunately, you're definitely not going to make it. There's at least got to be one more death before this all kicks off. Maybe he gave up. Even if he did, nobody steps outside this fucking boat. That's a very smart decision. We're staying put. Yeah. Until the National Guard gets here. And then you're all dead anyway. It'll kill everyone. Oh, look, there's your friend. It was in the evidence pile outside the boat with his other weapons. I might have... Oh, okay, 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 I, I, I put it there. Well. Well. That's what killed you. Not your brother, but the guy that looks just like you. Drop call from a paramedic boat, and they're on their way in. What the hell's happening out there? Look, who, who placed the distress call? Why did you take the suspect out of her cell? Oh my god, just answer the bloody things. What's he gonna say, Victor Crowley's attacking us? You gotta think about this. We have got to get out there, and we got Yes! Yes! And then, do whatever the plan is. Clearly she's been right so far. Listen to her, go with her plan, do it. I don't know, I don't know. We have to find something to fight back with. It's an RPG, didn't take him, don't you think a couple of needles will? Yeah, as I say, they've, you've fought back with guns, weapons, nothing has actually worked. Water, let's go. Let's go. Okay. I actually like this woman, so I don't want her to die, but I feel like she has to. <laughs> well, he's in. <laughs> no! I actually want you to survive for once. Is he like trying to burn you with it? Oh, there's that paramedic. Oh. I'm trying to listen. I think he's there. Oh, thank God. You lucky bastards. Oh, God, it's my wife. Okay. Amanda. Did not think he was gonna die. I can reach it. Stay away from that hole. Shh. Listen to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I mean, he did warn you. Oh no. Oh no. Here he is. Oof. Oh, honestly. Sorry for what my father did to you. Honestly. Honestly, seriously, honestly, seriously. S don't think it's gonna work. Although how long's left? Less than ten minutes. Might work. Uh oh. oh. Step back, Mary Beth. No, don't you go over there. Dead. I actually didn't want you to die. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> you fucking, you're nutting her. 
That is literally still technically a headbutt. Oh my god. Ow. Oh. Oh! Oh, oh, it's Raiders of the Lost Ark. Wait, is that the right one? Is that the right Indiana Jones movie that, that happens? Either way, it's Indiana Jones. Where did you just get that gun? Where did you just randomly find that on the floor? That is gruesome. Yeah. Please do it already. He's not going to get up. That's He's melted away. There's... Is, is, that's it, curse broke, surely. Fuck it. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think he was gonna get up. He the curse broke he got his dad's ashes all over him. He melted. He was not getting back up from that. He survived for once! Is she, is she dead? Alive? Dead? Are we going to find out in Vitz Crowley? Is Vitz Crowley a sequel or a prequel? That was hatchet free. Surprisingly not as gory as number two, I don't think. I mean, there was a lot of gore in there and a lot of death in there. But a lot of it happened off screen. It was not as gory as I thought it was going to be. But I did, I still enjoyed the overall part of it. I'm curious as to where they'll go with Vince Crowley because obviously that's like, um, it's must, I'm ass usually when they do this kind of thing it's like a prequel. So I'm assuming it may be a prequel. I haven't looked into it or anything so we'll find out. But no, in terms of the Hatchet trilogy before Vince Crowley, I think that was a good little send off. I, I wouldn't say it was any worse, any better than the previous movies. They're all just kind of what you expect from them. So obviously I'm going to give that a thumbs up. But yeah, like there was, I, I actually am very, very happy that that Andrew character survived that uh, because his the two people, his, the two brothers from the previous two movies, played by the same actor, obviously, died brutally, and this one, he wasn't one of their brothers, but he looks like them, and he survived. I it very much got a Carmine vibe from like the Gears of War series where the Carmines die in the, the, the main games and then in the third one he didn't he actually survived uh, which I'm sure was a vote they let people vote on that situation I think and then they, like decide whether he lives or dies <laughs> maybe that's what they did with this I don't know <laughs> but I'm glad he survived honestly well, no, it, as a gore fan, if you're a gore fan, I would definitely recommend the Hatchet series so far. Uh, hopefully, Vince Crowley keeps up with this kind of pacing and gore. Like, it was what you come to watch, really, what you expect. But uh, we'll find that out next week, because obviously that is next week's video. So, yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like, subscribe, turn on the little bell notification so you're notified when we post which is every Monday, and we will see you next time.